Hi everyone, welcome back to the Movie Reviewers 100. My name is Scott, also known as Cineram, for a while here on YouTube. Um, and uh, I do Thursday uh, reviews for the Collaboration Channel. This week I am wrapping up Sports Week. Sports movies, movies about sports. Um, and um, we've had uh, a good number of good videos here. We've had a couple of uh, reviews of boxing movies. Uh, one about uh, football, one about uh, basketball. I am doing gymnastics. Um, the movie that I've chosen is called Stick It. It was uh, written and directed by Jessica Bendinger, uh, who is the screenwriter of Bring It On and First Daughter and Aquamarine. Uh, mostly, you know, teen-oriented films, it seems. Um, the main characters are played by uh, Missy Peregrim. Uh, who is uh, the lead on a television show called Rookie Blue. She plays uh, a high school age gymnast named uh, Haley Graham. And her coach is Jeff Bridges. Um, this basically is about her um, having come back to the sport of gymnastics after a few years of being away. Um, she had some problems. I think there was a state competition in which she uh, left abruptly in the middle and uh, that was uh, dire. That uh, made dire consequences for her teammates because uh, they were, I think, disqualified or they dropped out of the running order for the championship. Um, what most people didn't realize is that in the middle of the competition, the reason why she left is because she learned that her mom uh, was leaving her father, basically leaving the both of them, and that was just so emotionally uh, upsetting to her that she just couldn't compete anymore. But she didn't tell anyone about this really, um, and so all of her former teammates are, are angry with her. Well, as luck would have it, most of her teammates she's going to be competing with again um, because as part of a court-ordered, um, uh, well, she let's just say she, uh, she trashed a house, basically. And uh, so uh, instead of being sent to a reformatory, she was sent back to the um, uh, high school uh, geared, uh, the gymnastics geared high school that she used to be a part of. Um, and that she didn't want to have anything to do with anymore, but she has to go back and... Uh, uh, retrain to be a gymnast, basically, and compete along with all the uh, girls who hate her guts. Um, and, of course, Jeff Bridges is her coach, and he is trying to encourage her that she's got this amazing talent and gift and that she really ought to pursue this, and she just doesn't want to. She doesn't want to be a part of it. Um, so the whole th sort of thrust of the uh, story for most of the film um, is the friction between her and her coach and, uh, and her teammates. Also, she has a rival... Um, who uh, has since joined, I think, a different uh, uh, gymnastics school, uh, and so she's going to end up competing against her because she's on a different team now. Um, but for me, the real meat of this movie, uh, I mean, I enjoy the movie. I think it's a good movie, but for the, the real reason why this is a really good movie, one that I enjoy a lot, is because of what happens in the end. Um, when Ray reviewed a Girl Fight, he talked about the fact that um, uh, he sort of sees uh, professional sports as like live theater. Uh, entertainment. And um, yeah, and I have to say, I, I very much agree with that. I would go actually a little bit farther and I would say that uh, professional sports uh, and uh, college sports and sports that have like whole industries built around them uh, are sort of like recreational warfare, um, competition for the sake of competition. Um, I uh, have wondered oftentimes throughout my life what exactly is accomplished by people winning these, uh, these games, you know, uh, why are so many people invested in it? Um, it's one thing to be invested in a, a team doing well if you know someone personally uh, on the team, you know, or if you own the team and, you know, you're making money from it, or if you own a business that profits in some way from a team doing well. For example, here in Chicago, we've got a bunch of businesses that sell Cubs uh, memorabilia, you know, Bulls memorabilia, you know, when, uh, when the team is doing well in the season, especially the playoffs, a lot of people go out to the eating and drinking establishments and, and watch the game along with a, a bunch of other people and for the eating and drinking establishments, that's very good. They make more money that way. But for the average person who just basically watches the games and doesn't benefit from it in any way, uh, I've never really seen the point. Um, of course, a lot of people would say, what's the point in, uh, you know, uh, following movies so obsessively and following the careers of directors and actors when that doesn't have anything to do with you personally? So I can kind of see it, I guess. Um, but 
for me, films tell stories. Uh, they have uh, messages about morality and about uh, uh, the, you know human conduct, basically. I mean, any movie, even if it isn't about people, if it's about robots or aliens or animals or what have you, you know, all the characters have human characteristics, and that's really what uh, film is about. It's about you know, in television shows or what have you, they're telling human stories. Whereas when you watch a uh, game. Uh, with professional players or college players, you know, and there's all this attention devoted to it, but there really isn't any kind of um, a, a, a lesson to be learned from it other than, you know, train really hard and uh, occasionally, you know, it might be wise to take steroids or whatever in order to be, you know, the best in your field. Uh, and then you'll get endorsements and a lot of money and um, I don't know, it's just, uh, it always seemed kind of hollow to me. Never really been a sports fan. Um, playing a sport is one thing. I'm not particularly good at it. I like volleyball. Volleyball is fun. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I've never really been that big on any, real, any type of a sport in particular. You know, acting, writing, you know, film, theater, that kind of thing. That's always been my thing. Um, so the reason why I like this movie Stick It so much is, like I said, of what happens in the end. Um, at a certain point, um, the characters uh, realize that they're not really competing against other teams. They're competing against the judges. The way gymnastics works is they score you based on how well your performance is. But they can, uh, you know, you can get a perfect 10 score, but it's very, very difficult because there are all kinds of reasons why you could get points deducted and not make a perfect score. And in the final competition, in case you see the film, the final competition uh, of the of the picture starts at about one hour, 18 minutes. Um, and what happens is the very first uh, girl that you see compete um, does a vault. And that's uh, uh, um, uh, uh, where you run down a ramp, basically run down a ramp and then uh, somersault over what they call a vault. It's this big sort of wooden block. And then you land and you have to land perfectly still without stepping and regaining your balance. And, and then, you know, that's, that's a perfect vault right here. And the girl on um, Haley's team performs a perfect vault, and everyone thinks she deserves a perfect 10. But the judges deduct points because of a silly technicality. And nobody on the team is happy about it. The coaches aren't happy about it. Nobody in the audience is happy about it either. Um, and, and so what happens is the girls on the team and on the other gymnastics teams decide to revolt against the judges. They decide to pit themselves against the judges and their, uh, and their, and their policies on how they evaluate everyone um, in an effort to help control the results rather than do the best they can but then leave it up to the judges to decide how well they did. It's not like that in basketball or football, okay? You make it to the go end zone, you score a touchdown, you know, you get the ball in the basket, you score points. Um, but it's not, not like that in gymnastics. And so they strategize amongst themselves uh, a method to allow basically them to control who wins and who doesn't, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm not going to get into exactly how uh, they do this because that's one of the great surprises of the movie. Um, but in the description below, you will find a link to the full upload of the movie. Someone loaded the entire movie uh, here onto YouTube, and I've got the link in the description. The picture quality isn't great, but if you don't see the whole movie in its entirety, maybe you would be interested in seeing just that last bit right there. Again, it starts at 1 hour, 18 minutes, um, and it's really, really inspiring. And what's so great about it, it, as far as I'm concerned, is this isn't, it becomes, not, it's not a competition anymore. It becomes a celebration of skill and a celebration of passion for the sport. Um, when I was in, uh, when he was in high school, my younger brother was involved in gymnastics, and I really wasn't into it that time. I went to see him in a couple of meets. Um, but it takes a lot of skill. It's hard work. Uh, you know, your palms get all chewed up from, you know, grabbing the uh, wooden poles and things like that, you know, and uh, it takes a lot of balance, coordination. It's, it's, Difficult, really, really difficult work, and a lot of people fall on their faces when they do it. I know I would never be any good at it, um, but it makes for an exciting picture, uh, especially how things turn out. So I don't want to say more than that except to say it's a, a sports movie unlike a lot of other sports movies. Practically every sports movie ends with a huge game at the end, and either the team you're rooting for with the main characters on it wins or loses. Uh, Friday Night Lights, for example, is a, a really good sports movie, um, you know, and, uh, and, and you know, th there's a few good ones out there. I would say the exceptions to that are Million Dollar Baby and um, uh, Bull Durham. Bull Durham, neither of those two movies end with a big game. Something else happens at the end, uh, aside from, uh, you know, a last uh, competition. 
Um, and this one ends with a competition, but it ends differently from any other sports movie I've seen, and that's why I like it so much. So, uh, yeah, again, if you want to see that whole movie or just that last competition right there, the really great part, um, check that description below. Check the uh, link. Uh, I don't think you'll regret it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back with another team, uh, another a new theme uh, tomorrow. Hope you'll tune in for that. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave us comments. Thanks again. Bye.